Thank you for watching this video. Hi, I am Sandan Gogwe and I would like to talk about an individual psychological preparation for the process of stopping erosion in three days without government money. For mostly, if you consider necessary the government money to stop erosion or if you believe protests, revolts, complaints, chief minister, prime minister, politics, god and prayers can stop erosion and if you totally depend on them, I'm afraid all the communication to stop erosion between you and me comes to an end here. That uh, you gotta better watch some entertaining videos that's good for you. Alright, if you're still with me and if you have realized about the fact that central and the state government cannot or will not stop erosion in coming years or in the coming decades, if you are ready to scan and audit a new process by yourself, if you can work three days out of 365 days of a year, then you and I have got quite a different relationship. Perhaps we can have the pleasure of working together, thereby mastering flood, erosion, society, and people of Assam. Alright, verbal agreements or disagreements to work and not to work in the river will not stop erosion. Working in the river will stop erosion. If you find any person who is uh, upset about the flood erosion issue, and if you find somebody who is talking on flood erosion issue, please ask him how many days he can work in the river. If you can go to the river bank with your friends or family or neighbor or with anybody and communicate with them, what are the materials required standing on the river bank? Do we have the materials in our society that can be used for erosion protection? With all your different answers, with all your different questions, Telling me or telling to everybody, especially your family, what you are about to do in three days in order to stop erosion is the most important of all. It is the most important of all the power sources and the resources to stop erosion. I value your activity individually, which should definitely induce many more so much. If you just go to the riverbank and think about the solution of the erosion problem, I think you are already on the way to create new ways to stop erosion. You might be a new discoverer of a new process of stopping erosion tomorrow, you never know. Somebody has to come up planning in a particular area. To start a new thing is difficult. Making a change is difficult. It's so much higgly piggly. But trust me, the process is filled with fun. It's like uh, traveling in a dark, uh, new dark dense forest that we never traveled before. The more we go in, the more exciting it is. Here, I uh, love to hate demanding your fate. I don't like to see setting myself up as an authority. I don't know engineering and its technical jargons, yet I want to talk and work on heroes and protection. What I'm always concerned about, what I'm always hunting is um, what are the people ideas to stop erosion. If you have an idea, it doesn't matter to me who you are. A village boy, a cowboy, you might be from art, science, technology or engineering, you might be from any religion or philosophy, you might be working on any caste, culture, music or any dramas, you might be from any business or politics or from any NGOs. What matters is what you can do with the river to slow down the water flow, what you can do with the river to change the direction of the water flow is the need of the hour, individually. It's possible when we try, the impossible is many a times the untried. Erosion is my problem, it's Sam's problem, it's the farmer's problem, it's the government's problem, it's the problem of the NGOs, it's the problem of the youths in our Assam society. It's a natural problem. We need to stop this by using natural resources. We already have naturally so much to take the first step and then the next. Thank you.